you're asking what lead generators do you use let me kind of let me let me answer that question real quick for direct mail i am big on fixed price leads i have a third party solution that i work through my marketing organization to provide my agents you got to work with me to get it but they're fixed price leads in the upper 20s to low 30s i think this is the most important aspect of the uh, of the lead is the fixed price uh, there's a very difficult to get leads in many markets at an affordable price so you, you got to work with me to get that uh, otherwise uh, good vendors out there that i like that don't do fixed prices hey look at how you doing uh are include lead concepts i really like lead concepts uh, chris weir is the guy you want to talk to and then also i like uh, lead connections uh, chris etheridge runs that joint uh, he's a good guy to work with uh, very service oriented you want that in the lead business if you got to pay a medium to higher price to get it it's very many times worth it last thing you want is poor service on leads not getting them back in a timely manner getting low response paying way more than you have to because you're being cheap you don't want to be cheap when it comes to the lifeblood of your business now uh, what leads to get um, you know what this is kind of the perennial argument I actually had a guy on um, I'm gonna publish his interview I did with him Friday um, I did it Friday but I'm gonna publish it probably in March because I'm so backlogged with some pretty cool interviews that are gonna be coming up and um, he one of the questions I asked this guy he wrote two hundred and eighty thousand dollars in final expense last year off of a purchase lead program direct mail basically the same program I advocate and one of the arguments you'll have amongst agents is should your lead say life insurance or should it not and um, you'll find that a lot of guys who are really good and experienced don't care some of them do care um, you know so what lead to get is going to depend ultimately on you trying out what your options are and identifying which ones work best there's really only three different kind of lead cards in this business you have the specific lead it says life insurance somewhere on the card if not once multiple times um, you've got the unspecific lead it does not say final it's, did i say final it says it says life insurance on the card one or multiple times you also have the card that doesn't say life insurance the unspecific or the vanilla lead it suggests and infers something of life insurance but it doesn't specifically state it and then you've got the bribe cards which may or may not say life insurance but they bribe the recipient to send it back in order to get some kind of usually a walmart gift card <clears throat> or like a prescription discount card or something like that what do i like to use i, I like my new guys to use a lead card that says life insurance on it uh, that just helps with the new agent you're going to find more people i think that are a little bit more receptive to the idea of life insurance Whereas if you use the unspecific ones, the ones that don't say life insurance, what you'll find is many times a lot of these people are confused and you can still sell them, especially on replacements. There's a lot of replacement opportunity because these people send the cards back thinking it's something other than life insurance and you get in and you start doing an interview and you find they've got some overpriced garbage that you can replace at a better price, you know, or they're terming out and they just didn't realize it. So a lot of experienced guys like that because they just want presentations. That's kind of their driving impetus. And then the bribe card, I like the bribe card. I don't like the prescription card. I like the gift card ones uh, that say life insurance. It's a good balance between response rate and specificity. I find that the bribes don't really deter the quality. That's been my experience. Other people, have, they hate them, but that's kind of the deal here, right? You gotta find out what works for you.